So here we are at Centennial Park in Sarnia, Canada Day 2012 with Lighthouse. Let's go check out what Dad's up to. He's got the monolith kit, the carbon fiber kit. It's a gorgeous kit. It's sounding awesome right now. Sound check. We're just going to check out his setup. So follow moi. We're going up here. We're going backstage. Here we go. So this is backstage with Lighthouse. Do you want to give the horns a second? There's the boys right there. Playing the horns. The crew. The sound boys is getting everything hey guys, going. There's the monitor right there. The horns. There's Skippo right there. Let's go check out the setup. I've got four acoustic guitar settings on this thing I was going to give to you. Can you tell me which up. one you prefer on the four? 10, 12, 14. Okay. That? that big bad boy right there is the 18. That sounded pretty good the first one. this one here. Yeah. That sounds pretty. Okay. okay. If you want to try another one, give it a try. Yeah. No, it's okay. The other one's going to be a little bit more. I turned the level down a teeny bit so you'll notice that. Yes. I know you said already. And this right. big bad boy down here. Can you turn him up over that train? That guy right there, <laughs> boom! Okay. Big old 24 so inch. I know it sounds amazing. Prokop of Lighthouse, leader, founder, creator, one of the best bands in Canada and internationally. Dad, how long have you been playing the monolith kits for now? Uh, wow. Um, it's got to be, what, 15 years? 15 years at least. Actually longer. Probably 18 years. Now. 18 years. Yeah. So how many kits have you gone through from uh, our friend Bill Hibbs? Probably a dozen. You know, and every one of them have been great. You know? Tell us about the uh, the one that you're playing right now on this tour. Well, the, the, the great thing about the one I'm playing right now is just that the fact that we haven't got any of the heads barely dead and down. Uh, and uh, the, the, the response is just tremendous. I mean, uh, whether you're playing like a soft fill or whether you're like dropping like a huge bomb, I mean, they just explode. The snare drum is... Uh, unbelievably responsive so it doesn't matter if you're doing like a kind of a very soft crush roll or you're opening it up into open rudimental rolls and stuff like that it, you can hear the attack of each one of the notes it's not like uh, you know uh, so it sounds like brrr, like yeah, 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 yeah. like that right um and they're, they're just great i mean uh, they're, they're the great thing about monolith drums I, that I can tell you is you're only going to buy one kit. That's all you ever have to buy. And the kit you're using right now, that is the carbon fiber model, am I right? It's made of a carbon fiber, it's not wood. Yeah, it's carbon fiber. It's, uh, it's humid, it's hot, it's really hot. I mean, it's th at least 30 degrees here. And the kit's sitting. Yeah, the kit's nice. sitting, it's perfect. And, uh, you know, I mean, we just got through playing a couple of different songs just in, in the sound check, and there's no difference. I mean, you know, there's no difference in the response, there's no difference in the sound. And the other thing is, is that if you've got a good monitor guy, and you've got your kit monitored to you, right? I mean, it just sounds like a It sounds like you're in a recording studio and you're playing live. It's great. Excellent. Thanks for your time, Skippo. Thank you.